Welcome back. On this video, we're going to be setting out a spreadsheet for the purpose of printing. Welcome back to part six of this series of videos called Get More Out of Your PC. On this video, we're going to set up the, uh, the sheet for printing in Excel. Uh, Generally speaking, it's not the tool for the job. There are programs such as Word and Publisher that uh, can do certain things better when it comes to publishing or printing. But there are benefits of using Excel for this uh, reason. Um, the first thing is to prepare the sheet. That's what we're going to do in this video. Um, let's do a, a zoom in here so you can see what's happening. Uh, we'll zoom into 200%. Okay, uh, first things first. As you can see, we're working with rectangles. Now, if we uh, hit the top corner here, the little arrow, uh, this will select all cells in the uh, the entire sheet. And we want to, to change these more, more towards a, a square shape. So uh, with all selected, we right click in any of the letters because they're all selected. Uh, we're going with column width and the default here is set to 8.43. We're going to knock that right down to 3, or in this case, I'll go for 2.5. Uh, and what we're left with is uh, not exact squares, but uh, we're working with a, a better grid. So when laying things out on a, an A4 sheet, for example, you're going to have a lot more freedom to where things are going to go. Um, let's continue to set this, uh, this sheet up. Um, we have page layout tab up in the top. And we've got the size button. If we click on that, A4 is already selected. But if we click on it again, then these dashed or dotted lines will appear. If I zoom out, I'm not sure if you're going to see this on your screen or not. But the, uh, the page is set out to the size of A4. The next thing we're going to do is pull in our logo. So let's say we're, uh, we go for insert picture. Uh, we can bring the, the, the logo in. I've made a, a sort of mock logo for this uh, particular demonstration. Okay, uh, when working with spreadsheets for the purpose of printing, we can actually go right to the grid line. We don't have to worry too much about margins. Excel will do that when it goes to publish. Um, so what we're going to do is just lay the sheet out in the next video. Uh, what we'll do is populate the sheet with some formulas and uh, give you some examples of why we're using Excel for printing rather than Word or Publisher. Um, Excel, of course, capable of doing calculations that we might or, uh, want in um, sheets such as invoices or things like that, any kind of business forms or um, things like that. Um, so. In this area here, let's say we want, uh, let's let's lay out an invoice. Uh, in this area, we're going to want the uh, the customer's uh, name and address to appear. Uh, merge and center up the top, we click the little arrow and we get merge across. Uh, so the customer's name and address uh, and information is going to go in here. Uh, the reason for putting that in that particular area of the sheet always um, means you can use the uh, the envelopes with the the windows on them um, to save you later having to print either uh, labels or print actual uh, envelopes. Um, the uh, If you put the name and address for the customer here, but of course don't put telephone numbers or any other details or information, simply name and address goes into this area. Um, up in this corner here, uh, you can lay the sheet out. The whole purpose of uh, starting from scratch instead of using templates um, is you decide what goes where. That's the benefit of setting out your own sheets. Uh, up here, we're going to have our uh, company information and we are going right to the line, right to the grid line. I'll show you in a moment um, why it's not so uh, not so important to worry too much about uh, margins and uh, things like that. So we're simply using the merge across and, and the, the sheet beginning to, to take shape. Uh, we're going to be using an invoice so we can have um, just go for merge and center that's simply going to say i'll put it in just now uh, in the next uh video we'll uh, we'll populate this um and uh, start to make it look uh, a bit nicer as well um in here is going to be the uh the header for various different sections um let's just zoom out so you can see what's uh, what's going on but already in just a few seconds we're beginning to take shape with this sheet that we're printing now 
Uh, in here, we're going to put you know columns. We go for uh, again merge across. We're using merge across quite often here. Um, and in here will be let's say it's products or services that you offer. Um, merge across. Um, and then of course we've got different uh, sections here. We can insert for perhaps line value, quantity, um, type, uh, total, x vat. Uh, all that kind of information. So we just use we're just selecting the, the table. We're going from merge across. Uh, later we can put uh, borders or, uh, in here, so we can hit up here all borders. Uh, we can tidy this up and just say we want the outside borders in this particular section here. Um, but we can tidy that up later. The formulas are going to go in later as well. Uh, down the bottom here. Um, this is going to be monetary. This is going to be for calculating shipping and uh, adding on VAT and things like that. Uh, and of course, the description of each of these. So we're just using again merge across and uh, the sheet beginning to take shape. Um, so let's um, hit over onto view. Up in the top here, we've got this view button and we've got page layout. And if we select that, we can see now why uh, we don't have to worry too much about uh, margins. Excel will do this for us. Um, as you can see here, we can take the uh, the grid lines away here and it will show us how it's beginning to look. Um, so we're working with a spreadsheet, but uh, as you can see, we've got space down the bottom for if I just hit back over to normal, um, I'll just show the grid lines again. Uh, we've got loads of space down the bottom here for uh, footer information such as uh, I don't know, uh, com more company information such as website uh, information, terms and conditions, that type of thing. Uh, so that's how to lay the spreadsheet out. And of course, when you do go to publish the uh, the spreadsheet, uh, just hit save and save as. And uh, when you do, um, choose save as PDF. And uh, that way you can email it away as well. Um, so that's the very basics. We can start later to, to tidy this up um, and all the rest of it. So we can take the font size for this. We want to be quite clear it's an invoice um, and Excel will handle the margins for us. Uh, so nice and easy in just a few seconds, we've set up a sheet um, and it's ready to, to start entering some details and more importantly, some formulas to let the sheet uh, do the work for us and uh, figure various different uh, things out. Uh, so in the next video, we will be populating this uh, sheet um, and going into formulas and uh, that type of thing. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, this entire series of videos you can find on the Computron YouTube channel. Uh, on YouTube, search for Computron and uh, there's a playlist which is called Get More Out of Your PC.